Hi. The today's video is so interesting, especially for lazy guys like me. What we gonna do and what I am going to introduce C sharp source generators. What we can do with C sharp source generators? We can get the compiler to do repetitive jobs for us. If I had, for example, so many entities and I am supposed to have different, different repositories, services, or piece of code, method, something based on that entities, for example, C sharp generator can be so helpful. C sharp generator actually is a method which has some entries, generates code, attach that codes into our project automatically, and then the project would be compiled. If I want to have a rough look, we can see something like this. We're gonna start compiling. Source generator in between, analyze our source code, generate a new source code, pass it to the uh, next step, and then the compiling process would be continued. Something like this. If I want to talk about these things on the paper or PowerPoint, it would be so boring, and at the end, we won't have anything in hands. So, as usual, let me jump to Visual Studio, show you something, then you will understand the benefit and uh, things that you would gain by this new feature. It's not that new. It introduced in .NET Core 5 or let's say .NET 5, but mm -hmm. let's call it new. Let's jump to Visual Studio. First of all, configuration is a little bit tricky and difficult. So, first of all, create an empty solution, like what I have done here. So far, no problem. Create a library, library project like what I have done here. Create, for example, a console application like what I have done here again. But, for the class library one, these two are necessary. If you need to install something from NuGet, you have to. So install this uh, NuGet package at first. Normally, Visual Studio would automatically do that if you add these two into your uh, CS file or your main project like this. So this is our library configuration. What is this? In some IDEs, in some IDEs, this line also is necessary, like JetBrains, for example. I didn't have any issue without this line in Visual Studio. But if you're gonna use VS Code or any other uh, IDE, this line might be necessary. I'm not sure. Okay. Configuration is Add this library project into your uh, demo, which is a console application. That's all. Let's go ahead. C sharp source generator is a class. Yes, it's a class. I called it hello generator. An inheritance from iSource generator. So far, Easy. An attribute, generator attribute. So a class, 
inheritance one attribute two methods initialize execute like this in execute I said I need a class, a static, the method, say hello, like this, and then context.at source, file name, dot g, which is generator, dot cs, and then this line. That's all. If you have done everything properly, I can come here. In my program.cs, for example, I can say console.rightline.rightline hello world.say hello. Which hello world? Which hello world? Which hello world? This one, the class name. But do I have any hello world uh, class in my project? No. Comment this line out. Clean and rebuild both projects at first. Then this would be automatically generated. Hit F to L. See the file is generated. You can hit run generator again also. But see this file was generated by something. If I come to my solution and search a lot also, you cannot find any class calls. Hello world. Everything is automatically generated. Okay. You might say it, it was a very simple one. Okay. It was simple. No problem. Comment it out. Come here. I have created repository generator. Again, attribute, inheritance, initialize method, which calls syntax receiver. This is another method. I have done this here to check everything. And then and then in the execute, I have tried to generate a repository for each entity that I have used this attribute against. Which attribute? This attribute. I have to generate an attribute like this. Generate repository attribute. So by this, I can define any entity as I wish and use this generator attribute above that entity. Then any time that I want to use that repository, I can. I will show you later. So where is the body? It might be a complicated body. I try to concatenate so many string together and created that repository. How did I use? Come here. Actually, what I have done here doesn't matter. The main thing, the main thing is this tree. The rest is using the repository for adding, deleting, listing, whatever. Okay. If you want, I can show you how can we add another uh, entity, for example. I will take a copy from this. Mm, for example teachers or teacher okay teacher id the rest doesn't matter uh, teacher id 
the primary key. Okay. Done. Then I come here. I take a copy from this. I will change it to teacher. Where is teacher repository? I have done everything in front of your eyes. Where is teacher repository? It generated automatically. I didn't do anything. See? But I can use it. And the last question. Somebody can laugh at me and say, Okay, idiot. I could do the same by generics, for example. A generic repository. Yes, you can. But, for example, in some cases in Blazor, or if you want to activate uh, AOT, generics won't be supported. So you can simply do the same by source generator, and nothing would stop you. If you know any other case, let me know in the comments. Enjoy C Sharp Source Generators and see you in the next video. Bye!